Hello, everyone. Today we use a material to create a sphere break effect. We can see in the level that the sphere is divided into many small square objects, and they will float around the sphere. It looks like it is composed of many meshes, but in fact we only use one sphere mesh. Okay, now let's see how to make it in the material. First, we need to create a sphere static mesh. Here we can directly use the modeling mode that comes with Unreal to create this mesh. Select the sphere. Modify its radius here. We want it to be bigger, so set it to 200. Then set the subdivisions a little higher, 64. Yes, more triangles will have a better effect. Okay, now we have created a new static mesh, and we don't need to make any modifications. Just go back to the level and create a material. Right-click to create a new material, rename it. Change its blend mode to mask and two-sided display. Next we need to create the basic shape. Here we use a square as an example. Add text scored. Multiply it by 2 and subtract 1. This will set the coordinate origin to the center of the display area. Then take an absolute value and subtract a parameter from it to control the size of the square, such as 0.5. OK, so we can use the black part as a square shape, of course. We can also set U and V separately, that is, length and width, so that we can get a rectangular shape. Next we need to take the maximum value of it. The maximum value compared to zero to eliminate negative numbers. And get its length, so that we get a single channel square shape. Then add seal. Yes, it looks very clear. Now we need to tile it, so we need to do some processing on TechScored here. Multiply, frac, so that we can get the same tiled shape. Set it to 8, connect it, so we get the desired shape. Make the black area a little bigger. Then add 1 minus. Yes, the shape looks good. Then clamp it between 0 and 1. Finally connect it to the opacity mask. This is the mask part. Use the sphere preview to see. This is what we need. Next we need to set the word position offset of the material, so it's the same, we still need this part of the node, and use these square masks to multiply by vertex normal world space to ensure that these squares have the correct offset direction. Let's multiply it by 100 and take a look. We can see that it is now offset in the direction of the sphere normal, then we also need these squares to have random value, because we don't need every square to diffuse or shrink inward at the same time to make it more random, so we can multiply it by the noise texture here, and use the pixelation to turn it into the corresponding number of tile masks. OK, so that each square has a different offset value, here we use the default 8 rows and 8 columns, then subtract 0.1 to make the random value a little smaller, and add time node, the time speed here needs to be slower. 0.2 Frac, then gets its minimum value. Use 1 minus is connected. Yes, now the texture has a dynamic random value. Next, we need to add panner to the texture to make it can move at the same time. Here we set the x-axis to 0.02, so that the effect will look better and more random. That's it, we connect them together. So we get a random outward diffusion and then contraction effect, which is very simple. Next, let's create the emissive color part. We need two different colors for the edge and the interior. Just subtract 0.6 here, and we will get a smaller square. This is the area needed for the interior color. Connect it to Lerp. Here we use some system provided color textures.
Increase the color intensity. Set it to 10. Connect it to input B. Then connect it to emissive color. OK. This will give us the interior color. The edge part can also be set to a darker color, which may look better. Still use this texture, but here its intensity needs to be lower, set it to 0.2, and it can also make the edge have some dynamic effects. If we don't like this way of moving, we can also use radial mode. Okay, not bad. And we will find that there are still a lot of black areas. Just reduce the value in opacity mask to 0.8, which should still work well on some meshes with enough subdivisions. Now we apply this material to the sphere we just created. Yes, the effect is pretty good. We can also add a world position offset similar to a wave, which is also the method we use when making some masks. Okay, it is this nodes, just like a wave, then multiply it by the vertex normal world space. The intensity is set to 20 here. Very good. Then combine them. Okay, this is what we need. Of course, here we use a square shape as an example. In our own projects, we can set the shape according to we needs, such as circle, hex, diamond, etc. We can even use Photoshop to make random shapes. It doesn't need to be regular or tiled. Okay, so we have a very simple but good looking sphere break effect. Its production method is very simple, but very practical. Hope you like it. Bye.